Hello, friends of Celendix. I presume that everybody can recognize this. Right? You, you will know what this is. This is a, a torpedo propeller. This is actually, it's a Royal Navy uh, Mark uh, 8, I think, um, submarine torpedo propeller. But what I wanted to show you today is not a propeller because everybody knows about the propeller, but I want to show you the gyroscopes. And we have here two very interesting examples. This one, it's a First World War torpedo gyroscope. Uh, very complex, as you can see. Uh, it's probably, it has sort of a hydraulic system. And you have, this is the, the compass that's in it. And then this obviously will, uh, will move uh, or keep the, the propeller, the torpedo on its right path. Uh, very rare, these things are. This has a lot of marks and stamps and serial numbers uh, everywhere. And uh, some moving parts. If you, if you see, I, I twist this and this will actually move the, change the bearing. So this is probably how they did it. We have a green part and red part. So obviously it's left and right to actually port and starboard to be able to determine uh, where the torpedo is going. And also, we have another component, another gyroscope. This is actually from a second World War British torpedo. And you can see how, how this moves. This is obviously just part of it because this one is more complete. Uh, they're very similar to the two, uh, also almost identical, I would say, at least this, this particular part. So these are uh, really sort of rare things, especially the first World War. You won't find this uh, around at all. And if you want a submarine collection, well, you can get any of the three or all three uh, for your collection and you have uh, some really good examples and you can have a first world or a second world war and the torpedo propeller, which uh, uh, looks very, well, quite similar in both world wars. Obviously, they, they evolved, uh, but uh, this is a good example of uh, how most torpedoes would have um, functioned or would have been uh, pushed forward. So um, go on the website, and if you have any questions, don't forget to give us a shout. See you next time.